Hi, I'm Michael Bolton, and this is What's in the Box. What's the lyric here? I remember that person. It looks like me with long, long hair. And no, because um, I don't remember that. I don't remember the clothes, like what session that was. This is the ballpark I remember quite a bit. This is the Timothy White session. Long hair, and it looks like Armani. Lots of Armani. The uh, long haired Armani years. So that would be probably um, around either just after Time Love and Tenderness or part of the Time Love and Tenderness sessions or around the one thing. I think it's after Soul Provider. I remember when I first started shopping for clothes for the album shoots and um, posters and billboards and all the promotion. And the introduced me to a stylist. I didn't know what a stylist was, but it sounded very helpful. And she took me shopping, and I thought, whoa, this is a mistake. There's like way too many digits on this price tag. Do you have something like more like $7? Um, I started to learn basically what, what I liked, and, and then I learned from her some great stylists, um, what works with me, and where to shop, and stuff like that. That was 94 years ago. I liked them when I would see the work, like, re like when I, a great photographer lights you really well, and you just take a look at the monitor, or in, in the back of the camera back then, and say, wow, that looks so much better than I'll take it. Um, it makes you more comfortable with the long hours that sessions can be, and they are. They can really run long. You're standing there and just changing every 20 minutes and trying to stay fresh and deliver something through your eyes that doesn't say, can we stop already? Make it go away. Um, with great photographers, you kind of look forward to giving them everything they're asking for, every session, every setup, um, and be prepared with lots and lots of clothes. And this picture, I'm not sure where it came from, but for some reason my eyes are really bluest I've ever seen them. So I was either drinking bad water or uh, that is also the shortest haircut I've had since I cut my hair. And I'm wearing a vest that it's kind of almost looks like a tuxedo shot from some fundraiser or something. That is really short hair. So it had to be after 96, 96, 97-ish or something like that. So I bump into people who go, why'd you cut your hair? Why'd you ask me like that? No, I, I, I don't know where they've been because it was like all over the news that I cut my hair. Such a big deal, apparently. Which one would you let in your house? <laughs> and this, I kind of like this picture. I just don't know what song it was from, what album, what session. I don't know. I usually identify them because they're similar. It's something similar about the other work that the photographer's doing. Okay, so maybe some of you might know where this came from. What session did it come from? Has it ever been used in a book or an album or in a language translation magazine? It doesn't exist, don't worry about that. And this is the shot we really have no idea where it came from. It kind of looks like the 
towards the end of the rock years or something, right? My ears pierced. I was um, about 14 in Greenwich Village, and I was staying at the, I was, I was gonna say my girlfriend, but she's just a girl I had a crush on who was four years older than me. I thought I was cute as a sidekick. And I stayed at her apartment, and somebody started talking about ear piercing, and I took a cube of ice and put it on my ear, and lit a match under a pin, jammed the pin through my ear. And that was 52 years ago, and no joke. The earring is <laughs> at the box. Talk about this though. Can we figure out what year it was published? 